It's Arba, near the holy city of Hebron, Erev Shabbat. You see the sun is going down behind us. And, you know, I heard this beautiful word this week from the Maharal of Prague. And it's really quite simple until you think about it. And the Maharal said, why does the Shekhinah dwell upon the head of a sick person? You know, we have a halakha when you go to the hospital and you uh, visiting a sick person, that we're not supposed to stand above the head of the person who's not well. Because we say that the Shekhinah rests upon the head of the person who's not well. And so we, as a show of honor and respect, we don't stand above where we recognize that the Divine Presence is dwelling there. And so the moral says, why... Why, why is that? <laughs> and he says, the truth is that the Shekhinah wants to be everywhere. That's the nature of God. That God wants to reveal himself everywhere, in every person, in every moment of life. And the Mara says the reason he doesn't is because we push him away. It's not that he's hiding from us. I think that rather the divine wants to reveal itself in us and we push it away. Most of the time, probably not knowingly, we're unconscious, we say things and do things that push away the the divine light which is so sensitive that it's going to run like a deer through the forest the minute it hears a sound or negativity. And so the Rebbe of Kopsk, Rebbe Menachem Mendel of Kopsk has said, Where is God? It's where you let him in. So he's already in. He's already inside us. We have to let him in deeper. We have to let him go to the places that we're afraid to let him go. And so when you visit a sick person, you know that the divine is there. The sick person, why is is the divine presence there? The morale says because the the sick person is too weak to push him away. And all he wants to do is get better. And he's not desiring the things of this world anymore. When a person is in the hospital, he's not interested in new clothes and new cars and new houses and new everything, you know, of the material world. The sick person just wants to get better. Wants to be close to a God again. Wants to feel joy. Wants to feel whole and healthy. And that's what the Shekhinah is here to do. To restore our health, our wholeness, our goodness, our connections, what's really true and long-lasting in life. So the sick person doesn't have strength to push away the, t- <laughs> the divine presence. You know, and yet when we're strong and healthy, suddenly we get this power that we don't exactly know how to use it properly. So I want to bless everyone to know that the Shekhinah wants to reveal itself in you and just not to block her. Not to prevent the divine from entering those places that maybe we're a little afraid to let her in. Because when we let her in, we're actually fulfilling God through His creation. And then, of course, we get fulfilled through Him. And it's a good deal for everybody. Have a great Shabbat. We'll see you this week on all the platforms. And look for you on our Patreon. We're continuing Torah 60. Amar uh, Rabbi Shimon, it's a, a, a very important central Torah and Lakuti Moran, and we'll be on all the outlets. And uh, well, with God's help, we'll share more together. Shabbat Shalom.